it's Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. I'm very excited to share this build with you guys today because this is something that's been requested for months and months and I just haven't done it yet. So I finally thought, you know what, I've been doing a lot of tiny homes lately and I know a lot of you guys love that, but not everyone's on board for the squish. So I'm, I'm going to do something kind of the opposite of that. And we're going to build a house for the 100 baby challenge. So I'm not doing the 100 baby challenge, just putting that out there right now. I used to do the A to Z baby challenge over on Twitch, and I'm hoping to get back to streaming later this year. And in addition to builds, I might bring that back, but I am not doing the 100 baby challenge on YouTube. I'm not doing it anywhere, have no interest. However, I wanted to build a house that was intended for somebody that might be playing that challenge that might be helpful to you if you are. So this house has enough space for a single Sim and her lots of children. There are, I believe, five single beds, a toddler bed, and two baby beds, so there's, or baby cots. There's more space than, like, more beds than you would need because that's enough for, like, nine sims. And, of course, you, if you have more toddlers than children and teens, you can switch those out. There is space to do that. But, this was a lot of fun. I kind of figured out the floor plan as I was going because I was worried about not having enough space and it does end up being an 86,000 simoleon house so it's not the most affordable thing but if you're playing the challenge for a while and you're earning a little bit of money you could eventually move into this house. It's not completely unattainable and I made sure to put an easel in here because I know that's one of the main ways people tend to make money with uh the 100 baby challenge because you're not really allowed to have a regular job if you follow the rules exactly. Also, I made sure to put a bunch of planters outside because I know gardening is also a really good way to earn money, especially since the gardening update that we got, was it last year or this year? I don't remember exactly when that was, but I know that that's a really good way to earn some money. So the mother's bedroom ends up being on the bottom floor and then all the kids' rooms are upstairs, which I think worked out pretty well in the end. And oh, I forgot to mention, um, <laughs> this build only uses base game, parenthood, and kids room stuff. So limited pack builds. I thought those were the ones that made the most sense for a house with a ton of children consistently coming through. Um, actually, I'm gonna find the 100 baby challenge rules so I can read them to you, but I'll also link them down below in case you are not aware of them. Um, because I know not everyone follows challenges and stuff. Um, and I think it's just a hilarious challenge. Uh, I gotta find it someplace, but, um, it's basically you have a single sim. They have to have a hundred children with different people. They can't have a job. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, I'm going to link them down below. I just found them. Uh, so you must play with aging on set to a normal lifespan, no cheats. Um, there's, there's a ton of rules. There's a ton of rules, but, um, basically you just have to have children with different people. Of course, if you have twins, that's fine, but like you can't have kids with that same person again. And there's like rules on when you can age up kids, like based on like which skills they learn, their grades in school. So at what point can you age them up and move them out, which makes it way more difficult. Um, so if you're interested in uh, checking out the challenge, if you haven't already reading the rules, maybe giving it a go yourself, I will link that down below. And if you are already doing the 100 baby challenge or interested in it, wow, so much respect. I don't know how, <laughs> how you have the patience for that many children. Like I have like one toddler and I wanna rip my hair out. So I also, every time I play with kids, I have everyone being like, you're not taking care of them. And I'm like, I'm trying. Because I also have a habit of, I've always done this when I play The Sims, I play on three times speed. I don't know why. I also do that on YouTube. I watch videos on two times speed. I, I just can't watch them at normal speed. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyway, um, this is gonna be the living room space. We did use the couches from Parenthood since that was a um, pack that we were using. I thought about using this chair in the corner, but I got rid of it in the end and I didn't use this purple rug. I was I was trying to make all kinds of stuff happen and it didn't work, but I did use these couches just in a different swatch. I believe I used them in the blue swatch 
And like usual, there ends up being a lot of blue in my builds. I can't help it, but I did make sure that the parent's bedroom or the mom's bedroom is not blue. It's purple, which I thought was really pretty. And I used a base game bed that I don't use that often. And I just thought that room came out really pretty. And here I am struggling to line up the red shelf because the glass was making it not look right. Uh, so that, that was fun. Uh, that red shelf is a CC shelf that I use to place items um, easier, more precise levels, all of that. There's a link down below to it if you'd like to download it. And I also have a tutorial on the channel in case you are curious because I've been getting a lot of questions about it lately. Uh, so I try to mention it most videos, but I don't want to do it every time because I don't want to annoy everybody. <laughs> um, but Anyway, that's what that is. And there is that easel that I did place down for our sim to go ahead and use. And then I have this little office space over here. I end up putting the desk with like a computer and stuff for getting skills done, as well as a little art artist section for the kids, which I thought was really cute and would help with skills as well, because you've got to get their skills up if you want to age them up. So I thought it was very important to add a bunch of like children activities here, plus just I don't know. I don't know if you're playing it and like just pumping out babies and like don't even know their names. Uh, like some people play the 100 baby challenge, which is probably my favorite things to watch. And honestly, when I think of people playing the 100 baby challenge, the first two people that come to mind is the person that introduced me to it years ago was which was Jessica loved her series. And then currently the I think the only like LP I occasionally check in on is Lil Simsy's 100 baby challenge. And I never, I didn't even start that from the beginning. I started like, I think when Hannah took over, I feel this is so weird just talking about somebody else's LP in my video. Um, but I, I occasionally will check out an episode and I just think it's so funny, like the way people deal with having that many kids. Uh, so I don't know if you deal with it that way if you play or if you like have storylines and you're like this loving mother of a hundred babies or I have no idea, but um, I wanted to make sure there's lots of activities here. And of course you could delete anything and change anything you want to fit your needs. Or maybe this doesn't even have to be a hundred baby house. It could just be a house that has a lot of kids. Maybe you like to play with lots of kids in your house. So uh, this would be usable for you guys too. If you'd like to download it, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. If you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey, there's also a direct download link to the Sims 4 gallery in the description down below. Uh, I try to include those as often as I can to because it might be easier for some of you guys. I'm just curious who downloads off the website versus who goes to the gallery and searches. I, I'm not really sure. I've never downloaded something off the website before. So um, I just think it's it's nice because you can just click it. You don't have to search for anything and it'll bring you there. So anyway, we're adding the parenting board because I love me some curfews in the game. I think Parenthood is one of my favorite game packs. I get asked a lot like what my favorite game pack, expansion pack, stuff pack is, and Parenthood is always up there for game packs. I feel like it's between Parenthood and Vampires usually, but I, I'm just saying Realm of Magic might take that crown. I have no idea what's in that pack yet. I'm very excited to find out, um, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, this is the living room. I did bring in this signing to one of the walls and we actually haven't painted the outside yet. And I was just like, let's bring in the blue because I already brought in the blue in the other rooms with the blue cabinets in the kitchen. It's a very blue house. Um, one of these, like, I feel like I got away from blue for a while. And then the last couple of builds, I just, I can't stop using it. So I'm going to have to work on that sometime soon. Um, but I think that room came out really cute. I used those chairs in that blue color, which I've never used them in. They have the blue wood and then the yellow cushions. I think it's a really cute combo. So that was nice to use. I think Parenthood just has beautiful stuff in it. Like I love the kitchen set so much. Uh, I'm trying to think, is it my favorite kitchen set? I'm, Jungle Adventure might be my favorite kitchen set, but if Island Living had its island counters and regular cabinets, it might be really up there because I really, really like that one too, but it's not a complete set. So I feel like it doesn't count. Uh, so probably either Parenthood or Jungle Adventure for that. Um, and then since we were talking about like favorite stuff packs, game packs, all that, I think my favorite expansion is Seasons. Um, Island Living is gorgeous, but I don't think it's my favorite expansion pack. Yeah, I think Seasons has got to be. Um, and in The Sims 3, it was like a tie between Seasons and Generations. So that kind of like carries over into The Sims 4 with Seasons and Parenthood. So but vampires was so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, sometimes I like miss when I used to do that series. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, um, if you're new here, I, um, when vampires came out, I did the vampires let's play and I got really into it. It was heavily story-based, 
very ridiculous had so much fun with it and I actually did two seasons of it I think the first season was like 55 episodes and the second one was like 25 maybe 25 something like that and like the second one the first one's like sims 4 vampires and the second one's called saving victoria and there's even a trailer for the second season i like went all in (laughs) it was such a fun time um and i haven't done let's plays in a while because i haven't been inspired to do them but i did put out a poll on my community tab recently asking about interest in that because i'm thinking when we do eventually get realm of magic i might do a let's play and it'll probably be heavily story based because i love doing that but anyway i just completely talked over this bedroom it kind of sections off to the side here this is where the babies stay they don't have like a separate room it's just be very close to mama which i thought was nice and that's all on the main floor and then once they're toddlers they get chucked upstairs (laughs) um or you know they just they get their own room because they've grown up it depends on how you play if they're like all your loving children or they're just (laughs) a number um because i know some people just name them ridiculous things or whatever which i think i was doing that with the a to z baby challenge i was just random words oh i can't remember what their names were i feel like i had really silly ones i might have to go back and see if i can find any of that find that save file yeah, maybe I should do that at some point. That would be really fun because uh, I was having a blast with that challenge. But this is the bathroom on the main floor. I made sure to add a little rubber ducky on the sink so that the kids could play with that in the bath. Of course, that duck is not going to be the one that's used, but your toddlers usually have that interaction to like play in the water, which is kind of nice. I also use this wallpaper in all of the kids' rooms in different colors. It's one that we got with Parenthood that I really like and I forget we have most of the time. Uh, and then this room ends up being... Actually, all of the rooms, for the most part, aren't too color coordinated. One of them is. This one has like some random colors. I think one of the beds stays white. The other one's like pink and blue. It's just very colorful and kid-like and anyone could be in these rooms. You could have kids or teens. Um, For this room is, I feel like, a little bit more kid-like. It could be a teenager, I suppose. Um, But also, 100 Baby Challenge, you're not having the kids there very long. You're not getting too invested in their personality. So it's just a place with all kinds of skill building activities and... Uh, places to sleep and do homework and all of that Um, but of course like I said if you do get really invested in their personalities you can customize any of these rooms to however you'd you'd like but this is the color coordinated room it's like blue and orange it has sports wallpaper which I think is really cute Um, so that's how this room goes and this is where the only toddler bed in the house is Uh, of course you can add more change beds around however you would like i just figured it was best to make enough space for more double beds or single beds not double beds single beds instead of toddler beds because you could always downgrade one of those to a toddler bed but if you only have enough space for a toddler bed you can't really add a single bed if that makes sense i was just trying to think of like the best way to do that i also thought about making this room pink but i think i changed the walls to yellow in the end i kept changing the color but i think we went with yellow because i I just couldn't decide for a while and this room just ends up having it's kind of a mishmash of stuff and i do come back to it later and add a couple of extra things to the walls i thought about adding this like activity table that we got with parenthood into this room and then i threw it outside it ends up being in the upstairs hallway later but uh this room is just i kind of think tweens or teenagers might be in this room it's very colorful and all over the place and there's ends up being a bunch of posters on the wall i was just having a little bit of fun trying to figure it out and i never use these rainbow curtains there's something about them i just don't like but i used them in here because i thought they kind of worked and It's nice to do that sometimes. Try and use things that you don't use as often. I do use those curtains in the other swatches. I just never use the rainbow striped ones. There's just something about them I'm not the biggest fan of. And I don't know what it is. Uh, Because I love rainbows. I love all the colors. But, you know, it is what it is. But here we are figuring out the upstairs bathroom. It's pretty much exactly the same as the one downstairs. It's just slightly smaller. And so lots of blue in this house. I mean, the bedroom's have a little bit of blue but they're not as blue as the rest of the house and then we're figuring out the hallway area i believe we just have curtains a little chair and like a plant over here uh so nothing too crazy then we're gonna add that activity table up here and later on we're gonna add like a rug under it and i think another plant and here we are just adding some planters out here so you can practice your gardening because i thought this would be a nice way to do that and then we're gonna grab a picnic bench as well so or um is that what it's called picnic bench picnic table i 
<laughs> a video like a couple weeks ago. I couldn't remember the name of it either. And I'm like, why can I never remember what a picnic table is? Which is kind of weird. Um, anyway, we're just adding some last minute landscaping because I actually had finished this build and then I came back to it. And it was just like, no, it needs more landscaping because I was trying to keep it really simple because really the main focus here is taking care of all these children and doing this challenge. I was like, do we really need that many plants outside, but I needed it to be just a little bit more lush. So I, I decided to go ahead and add that and a couple more uh, decorations here and there. Um, but I think that's it. I think hopefully um, we're just figuring out the last couple things in here. I wanted to use these like skateboard things on the wall in the kids room because I love those. There's so many swatches on them and I'm so motivated to use them in more builds. They actually really work well as surfboards in Sulani. So I need to use that idea sometime soon. But we're coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications. So you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to screenshots now and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.